does the structure of this piece make sense? Does it achieve the objective that we wanted of covering this, these two topics that intersect? Or did we, did we achieve what we wanted of you know, trying to make this really data heavy and accessible? Those are kind of the big picture questions that you ask when you look at the graph. And I like to look at those things first. I sometimes get distracted by the copy editing stuff, but um, if you, it's not helpful to people if you go through a draft and edit every comma, and then you say, actually, you need to rewrite big portions of this, because then you've just wasted both of your time by focusing on those line edits first. So the first thing I do is I look at the big picture. I look at, OK, I have, like in the uh, Kenny Sand story, there are these different sections about different um, interviews with different people. What Are they in the right order? Does splitting up into those sections hit all the points you want to hit in this piece? Um, other big picture questions are, is this story sufficiently reported? Do you talk to enough people? Do you get enough perspectives? Did you back up all of the claims that you made sufficiently? That's a big picture question, because if you haven't done that, you, you know, this draft is not ready, and you need to send the reporter back out there to answer those questions. Um, you can also ask, is there anything missing from this story? You know, is there someone you really should have talked to? Or you know, does having finished the story make it clear that there are statistics you need to add in? Um, or, you know, you're writing a book review, but you didn't really explain, you didn't say the name of the author. I mean, that's, you know, I would hope you would say the name of an author if you write a book review. But, um, but things like that, you really, you can look for what's missing as well as looking at how what's there is arranged in the big picture. Um, and at that, at every level of editing, you know, kind of the, the things that I look for most or attend to most are clarity. Um, how a big story is arranged really affects how it's clear to the reader. Um, accuracy, because that's the most important thing in journalism. Um, how power shows up in the story. You know, did you, um, is this story mostly uh, talking to cops when after someone was shot? Is that an, is the power relationship of that story, are you looking to the people only with the people with power? Are you also looking to the people in that story who don't have um, have you talked to the people who are most affected by the topic that you're talking about? Um, so you can look for all of those things at the big picture level, and that's what I do first when I go through a draft. You know, I'll look and I'll say, well, actually this section needs to go up top because it's kind of confusing. You need that context to understand what's happening. Or, you know, you really, you really need to interview this person because um, they're really affected by this and it feels very odd to not have their voice in this piece. Things like that. Um, and then you can kind of, once you've thought about that, you can get to more of the middle paragraph level part of editing. Um, some, what I think about with that is often the rhythm and flow of a piece, particularly in writing. You know, does this paragraph connect to the next paragraph? If it connects, if it doesn't connect, is there a reason for that? You know. Um, is it, did you finish the thought and it's okay to jump to something else? Or did you not finish that thought and actually need to add a connection? Um, does, uh, is the way this piece is arranged to keep people's interest? Do you stay for a really long time on a really jargony, um, difficult topic or subtopic of the piece? Or do you break that up with more of the kind of human interest interviews with people or quotations? Um, that also is a moment when I think about um, you know, could could a reader in the audience I'm thinking of, with the with the background that people in the audience that I'm thinking of have, understand the logic of this piece? Does this make sense to someone who maybe doesn't know anything about uh, snowball snow cone stands on the west side? Does it also make sense? Is there enough information for it to make sense to that person? But is it also um, does it also make sense to someone for whom this is familiar? Those kinds of questions um, in terms of the logic of the piece is something I think about a lot at the middle level. Um, and does each paragraph add something useful to the piece? Can you say, ah, uh, yes, this paragraph is here because we wanted to get this person's voice. But this first paragraph is here because it brings in the economic question. And this paragraph is here because it brings in um, you know, the way that this economy affects people, not just who are running these snow cone stands, but also 
like the snow cone op ice maker operator. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to be able to say, to know that each paragraph is doing something useful, because otherwise you're just making it long in a way that isn't helping anyone. And it's going to distract your reader and make them less interested in the issue. 